You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar face to Brockton cable viewers. I have Nuvi Rato. Nuvi, welcome. Hi, right, thanks for having to me. To the show. Um, we're flipping this a little bit. Normally, we're talking about different events and things that City Hall's promoting. You're, you're an active player over there with City Hall with uh, communications and just getting the word out for Mayor Carpenter. But we're looking back at Nuvi, Nuvi Productions, as yes, a matter uh, of fact. You have an event coming up on October 1st to kind of get people involved and promote what you do with documentaries. Tell us about it. Right. Um, I mean, as everyone know, you know, I, I do, I'm a documentarian by night, you know, and of course my full-time job is over at the mayor's office. But um, this is something that I'm passionate about, started a couple of years ago, and um, this is going to be our fourth feature that we're going to work on. It's a document about sports, and we're calling it Out of Bounds. And um, what October 1st is all about, it's just an opportunity for people to come in who have questions just about what we do as a production. And, um, you know, people who are actually want to participate, you know, this is an opportunity for, you know, if, if someone, you know, has a story or someone has a, a suggestion or just wants to know more about the production, this is an opportunity where people can come down, meet us. When I say us, I'm talking to myself and William Madero, um, Hakeem Hill, um, just, who, you know, people who are part of the production and just find out about what we're gonna do. But um, this next documentary, I'm really, really passionate about it. I mean, Mark, as you know, I started off as a sports guy, you know, d doing a show right over here at BCA. Um, so I've always wanted to do a documentary about sports. Just, um, you know, just never had that, just never, um, you know, got to that time that was, you know, we did one on guns and fatherhood and drugs, but I eventually wanted to get back to my original passion, which was sports. So I feel like this is a good time to do it. You know, we established, you know, thank God, some, some real good credibility with our last three. Um, award-winning documentaries, thanks to award-winning people on the film. Most importantly, that's that's what we got the recognition for. So this one is going to be about sports. It's going to be about sports in the inner city and the connection that sports in the inner city have. Well, no other place that that's more evident than right here in Brockton. Okay, the whole City of Champions moniker came out of that, came out of boxing, came out of all sorts of other sports, Brockton High football, everything like that. Um, so what you're trying to do is raise awareness, recruit, I guess, some talent as well, because exactly, you, yep. you get to get to find the people that are in the documentary someplace. There's a million great stories in Brockton that right, I right. can remember just covering sports. I'm not a sports person, but I have a feeling, like when I watched the, the documentary you brought here, Push Madison versus Madison, mm. that you had the screening over at Massasoit, Shoe right. City Screens. When I saw that, I'm not a sports person at all. I was fascinated with that documentary. And right. I have a feeling what you're gonna do is gonna fascinate me too. You know, it's funny, um, sports is just a microcosm of life. It really is. And, and that's why, you know, you think of all the, the, the you know, big social you know, changes we had in this country. It actually started first a lot, you know, in, in the sports world. You, you look at Jesse Owens, you look at Jackie Robinson, you look at Muhammad, you know, Muhammad Ali, you know, Magic Johnson, all these, you know, athletes who made big social, you know, changes. It started first, um, you know, in, in the sports venue. But for um, this documentary, I think it's so important is, you know, it, we call it a sports documentary, but it really highlights life is that, you know, unfortunately, a lot of high school um, athletes, after, you know, a, a career, you know, high school career is finished, whether it's basketball, football, track, whatever, and it doesn't work out, often um, athletes, you know, never really seem to fully recover from that. And then there's the others who find out, you know, there's a plan B, C, or D, and, and you know, do fantastic in life. There's plenty of examples of that, and there's examples of, of others who have never recovered. What we're going to do is we're going to really um, identify those people in terms of people who, you know, spiraled into negative behavior after high school because they did not see, okay, a plan B, C, or D. And, and we're going to identify, you know, why don't you see another plan other than sports if it doesn't work out? And I think my prediction is that, you know, it's not their fault. I think it's a lot of times in the inner city, people don't see success as much as they should. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, especially, especially in, in, in when I talk about black men, you know, a lot of black men don't see a lot of successful black men. And they are, but I don't think the media portrays it. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think the media portrays it. So, you know, you're seeing, you know, negative stuff in the news. So when you see negative behavior all the time, and that becomes your environment, often it's, it's, it's hard to get out of that. So, you know, we see, you know, athletes who, you know, string into that negative behavior, but then we have great stories of, you know, great people in the city of Brockton, and we're going to do some recording in Boston as well. You know, people have overcome that. And I think people need to see that, that 
you know, when you when you get a knee injury or, you know, or, or you know, you're just not good enough to go to the next level. There's other options. And it's a beautiful thing, and I want people to understand that. Well, my, my sports career was undistinguished, okay? I did a lot of bench warming in Little League, but what I did at Brockton High is I figured out I could manage the swim team. I didn't swim in the swim team. I wasn't a co competitor by any stretch because I wasn't fast enough, but I figured out I could help organize things and do things behind the scene. You can coach. You can mentor. You can teach. You can broadcast. You can broadcast. I mean, seriously, you think about what people get in broadcasting. If <laughs> You're getting the really huge bucks if you're playing, but you're not doing too bad for yourself if you're a network-level sports broadcaster right, by right. any stretch of the imagination. So um, it's October 1st, correct? Mm -hmm. yes. That's, uh, what's that, like a Wednesday, That's a Wednesday. Wednesday night? Yep. And yep. where are you doing it? It's going to be at Joe Angelo's from 6 to 9. Um, it's just an opportunity. We've got free pizza, some music. Um, DJ Nuno is going to provide some music for us. So it's just going to be a fun atmosphere. Come down. We're going to um, do a show little presentation mm -hmm. just in terms about you know, uh, what the production is all about um, and, and what are our, our ideas going forward with, with the production, with, with this particular documentary. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll probably talk for half an hour max, but it's just an event where people can, you know, come, enjoy some free food, um, you know, enjoy some music, and really just have a good time and, and learn about, um, you know, how can they get involved in the documentary itself, because there's so many people who ask how can they get involved, and this is the opportunity. And one thing, Mark, I want to uh, say is that, you know, I've always stressed the fact that I really don't give a damn how many awards I win. I really don't. I mean, I joke around about it. I really don't care. At the end of the day, if someone's being impacted by, you know, a story, or someone being, you know, or someone's learning from me, that's all I care about. What we're going to do in this documentary, we're having um, a kid who's interested in documentary work. What I'm going to have him do is I'm going to have him do a documentary on the documentary, on the behind the scenes. Oh, very cool. To you know, to really teach him the ins and outs. And uh, we have another person um, named Tim Young who actually played basketball. Great example, play basketball. Now he's doing um, some editing work. He's actually going to do some animations for us mm -hmm. for the documentary. So it's just you know, it, I love doing it because it's it's getting people involved who you know who don't really necessarily have a chance to get involved. So you know, we're giving them that chance you know to, to get involved in, in a in a production company that you know that's you know, we're hardworking, uh, aggressive you know promoters and an opportunity for them to say you know what they were part of an award winning team. You know, so let's just say they want to do their own thing. We give them that platform. So that, that's what it's all about for me, honestly. Now, the other thing you're trying to do, and I know you're being shy about it, and we won't talk about it too much because I know you don't want to, but you need help and you need backing. Uh, what you do, I mean, having equipment, having any equipment, having video equipment, having the stuff that you need to do the job costs money. Yeah, it okay. does. So if there are any benefactors out there, you'd like to have them come and join you. Definitely. I mean, it's, you know, we won't focus on you know having people there for the support, but you know obviously like everything, you know everything there, there's a cost for equipment, and you know we we fund everything our, by ourselves, you know. So um, this is an opportunity, you know, if you want to help out, you know we're not going to say no, but it's not mandatory. It's just an opportunity to really learn about our production. Phone number and what and email. Um, best way um, you contact our um, our website. It's best way newbieproductions.com. Um, and email newbievideo at gmail.com. Uh, so if you have any ideas or suggestions about the documentary or you just want to be a part of it, um, you know, just shoot me um, an email, newbievideo, or contact our website and go on our website. We have all the information, all the dates on the newbieproductions.com. Cool. Good luck. Just You're going to succeed. I know you are. You'll be in the winner's circle. Just remember who you, one of your mentors was. There you right? go. Okay, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.